All right, what's going on, dudes? And welcome back to our floating city in the sky. Since we last left off, I made a pretty good amount of progress off camera, as I'd mentioned I was gonna do, and I also accidentally scratched off the zit that was right between my eyes, hence that nice red dot right there. Hooray for face cams! I could almost use the makeup to cover it up. Ha ha! Alluding to the next video going up today. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, I got a pretty decent cactus farm going. In fact, I think if I took all this cactus out at the moment, um, I would be good on the uh, sugarcane challenge. In fact, I think at this point I may be far beyond it. So that's pretty cool. Um, I also have the uh, pumpkin challenge completed, or the, the pumpkin portion of the uh, enchanting uh, challenge completed. Obviously, I need to add some uh, some torches there in order to make jack-o'-lanterns, but as you can see, we have a pretty serious pumpkin farm going, and um, I need to actually grab some mushroom stew really quickly. Anyway, on top of all that, I was uh, able to shrink the, the roof or lower the roof on the, uh, the mob spawner to be too high, so, um, it's, okay, that was weird. <laughs> like, Key suddenly got stuck. Anyway, <clears throat> anyway, I uh, yeah, I solved the Enderman problem by doing that. So that was that was good and stuff. And now I am far beyond what we actually need uh, in the pumpkin challenge. And for whatever reason, it's doing weird things to me. It's putting me into the uh, the pause menu automatically and hitting my arrow keys and stuff. Anyway, yeah. All right, so we're like far beyond the pumpkin challenge now. In fact, um, I actually went and started smelting some more charcoal so that we can uh, go ahead and create all the torches that we need. So let's see, um, we have four. So if I just use my sticks here and make the maximum amount of torches, there we go, that's 20. And then um, if I just add you guys in there, then boom, 20 jack-o'-lanterns. All right, so that is uh, that part of the quest done. Um, let's see, does that take care of both of them? Let's see, um, spider eyes 10 out of 10. Okay, so all I need are bookshelves, which I get from completing the sugarcane challenge, obviously. So yeah, we're making some pretty nice progress here. Actually, let me go ahead and um, make some more torches because those are always pretty helpful. I'll go ahead and use half of my wood there and go ahead and make some more sticks. Okay, there we go. And I'll just make like, I don't know, 12 more, I guess, just to have. Okay, cool. So now um, let's destroy some of the cacti. And uh, I'm not going to destroy you. I'm going to destroy any that have either two or three high and hope that they don't um, end up hitting into the other cacti and destroying each other. So, yeah. All right. Be good. Be good. All right. And there we go. Okay. That is... 16. Boom. We can turn in the quest sugarcane. All right. Awesome. 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 Yeah, that was a, a good bit of just waiting around for things to happen. It was like, all right, let me just sit here and twiddle my thumbs, maybe go and look on websites and stuff and just have a jolly good time leaving my Minecraft open while I wait for things to happen. Um, anyway, I, uh, I forgot I should have brought some, uh, why am I running? Hold on, let me just go back and get some food. And, uh, yeah, totally defeating the purpose of the guardrails here, but that's just how I roll. I live life on the edge, quite literally. Okay, so, I need some food. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's do that. All right. And, um, yeah, so, oh, also you may have... Ironically, just as I was about to tell you that I have patched the uh, the base of the mob spawner so that spiders couldn't get through, hit the spider. <laughs> so yeah, hi <laughs> there, but you were not supposed to be able to do that because that you were gonna be my proof of concept by not being able to go through. Anyway, so I was trying to say I put half slabs here, and then I realized I didn't even need the door because they can't get through one gap, so I can just yeah, you know. And why are you here? I don't understand. Where did you come from? There must be some place where they can spawn, like, outside of the mob spawner because there's not enough light or something like that. Anyway, you guys are being dumb and silly. And Howie the Cowie, don't know what you're doing, buddy, but I don't like it because you... I think Howie the Cowie lives life more on the edge than I do, to be completely honest with you. But, um... You're speaking from observation here. So, anyway, let's, um... 
go down and now we will teleport over to Skyden a lot quicker, a lot quicker. And then I almost teleported myself back accidentally. Anyway, perfect. Aren't you or you, you're quite the, if I can read, I can read and you're quite the farmer, aren't you? Well, thank you so much. I hope this will help you as much as you've helped me. All right, I got some sugar cane. Oh, okay, she took the cacti. That makes sense. That makes sense. I was like, oh, she just substituted something for something else in my inventory. You got one sugar cane. Oh, my God. You're really, like, not not very generous. You really aren't. All right, whatever, kid. Um, so now I guess we play the waiting game again unless... Well, let's plant the sugar cane, then we'll go back and see if... How are you there? How are you there? Okay, I need to light up some stuff or something. Nope. Don't do whatever. It doesn't even matter at this point. It doesn't even okay, I need to put down some torches, I guess. Maybe you're just spawning here. Alright, that'll solve the problem if that's the case. Um, let's see. So I need to Um Hmm, how do I want to do this? And how much sugar cane do I need again? Jobs, enchantment. Um oh I need Ugh five bookshelves. Okay. I always forget like what they changed about. It's like leather ink sack and is it ink sack still involved in making a book? Hold on. Let me refresh my memory. Book uh, is okay. No, it's just the leather. Okay. The ink sack is if you actually want to write on it. I'm always like, eh. Ever since they changed the whole recipe, I've never really actually made many books. So yeah. Anyway, I usually, I usually collect books and or ice cream sandwiches as they're sometimes known from strongholds. So that's just me. Anyway, we need some leather. And um, someone mentioned that I can smelt, uh, I can smelt zombie meat and it'll make leather, something like that. I don't want to cap, <laughs> you're right there. You're right there and you're like, no, kill me, please. I'm Howie the Cowie and I enjoy life. I enjoy life on the edge and I don't want life on the edge to turn into, me being leather, so yeah. All right. Well, don't worry, Howie the Cowie. If I can get around it, then I will um, not not kill you for leather. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and plant the sugar cane. I suppose we can just get rid of all this stuff. I mean, we don't really need these. And oh, we're getting pumpkin seeds in return anyway. So that works. Um, and yeah, we're gonna want this for the. Uh, Sugar cane, so all right, we'll grab a few more pumpkins and uh, All right, yeah, let's just we're gonna we're gonna put all our resources here towards Sugar cane, it's gonna be swell All right, that is a lot of seeds that I just got right there. Wow um, I didn't did it always give back seeds when you like is there a chance that it's gonna give back seeds when you punch a pumpkin Stem, or is that something with like the herbology mod or something? Because I'm just remembering back to that wonderful moment in Skyblock 2.0, where uh, the the uh, the one and only pumpkin stem was destroyed, and it was great. So anyway, um, let me just finish up all the uh, all this stuff over here. Boom, 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 boom. All right, and then we can just have this totally cleared out. For use with um, my inventory is full. All right, let's clear that out. God, I get so much stuff now; it's ridiculous. Here we go. Let me see. Let me just, I don't know, toss some stuff in there and things. I guess um, I want to keep that and that and that and okay, that clears out my inventory enough. All right, come on, sugar cane, do your thing. Grow, grow yourself up to be a big, big adult. Um, yeah, actually, okay, let me, let me go, um, talk to the herbologist again, see if she has any more quests for me, or if I really have to just complete the, uh, the arcanist guy before doing anything else. All right, I need some farming supplies, please. Oh, you like to help me, how nice. I wonder if I have anything that I need a hand with. Um, apparently she doesn't. So apparently whatever I'm about to do with the Arcanist is like a big deal or something because this, all other dudes are on hold right now. Got any jobs for me? Nope. You don't have any jobs for me. Um, 
Do you got any jobs for me? No, you don't got any jobs for me. Um, do you got any jobs? Nope, you don't got any jobs for me. And uh, do you need any help? No, you don't. Okay, so this is like a big deal. This is a big deal or something. I'm really, I'm really curious as to what he's gonna give me here because everyone else is holding back. Everyone else is holding back. It's like they're they're afraid. They don't want to make him angry and ruin the gift. The gift of amazingness. Hold on, let me just put my cactus farm back in business. All right, here we go. Or I should say, just make it a little bit more efficient once again. There we are. All right. All right, come on, sugar cane, for realsies. It would be really cool if I could just like do this to you. I was half thinking for a second, maybe is part of the uh, the the herbology mod or whatever it's called. I could do that. It would have been great. It would have been really great and a great time saver. But uh, it is not meant to be. Oh hey, there's some seeds in there. Um, yeah. So I guess now we play the waiting game again. It could be a while, um, so it might come down to some more like off-camera waiting around and stuff. Just waiting for the paint to dry, waiting for the water to boil, waiting for the grass to grow. Quite literally, you know, all those, all those different um, analogies, metaphors, comparisons, hyperboles, hyperboles. Um, you're not mad at me. It's daytime. Why would you want to be mad at me? Okay, okay. Stop it. All right. Do I have another sword? I don't have another sword. Oh, I was half hoping that after I didn't pay attention to it for a few seconds, it would grow. But uh, that doesn't seem to be the case. So, anyway. Anyway. All right. Let's see. What am I going to do? I'm going to make a new sword for myself. A uh, new couple swords for myself. And if it's not ready by the time I turn around, nope. Okay. Well, time to play the waiting game. I guess that means this episode will be a bit shorter than usual, but I can't help it all that much because uh, this could take probably like half an hour or so to, uh, to do, and I can't do anything else at the moment. So, yeah. Can't venture into the nether. Can't. I, I guess I could get some more food from you and stuff, but that's basically about it. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching, dudes. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have, a rating would be much appreciated on that. Um, gonna be waiting for the grass to grow, and I will see you once it's done.